Unfortunately, I was a victim of sexual assault. I was raped by someone that I knew and um, had been casually dating. I made the decision to not report it. And I had thought to myself that I would be able to just emotionally bury it and pretend like it didn't happen and go on with my life. And then upon graduating, just never return. But I learned pretty quickly that that is much easier said than done. I've had a concealed carry permit uh, since I could have one when I turned 21, but I didn't have my weapon with me because I wasn't allowed to bring it on campus. You know, hindsight is always 2020, but I think that having that with me would have made the situation turn out a lot differently. I felt very much like I've been listened to from the pro Second Amendment crowd because, you know, I'm kind of like a glaring example of why self-defense is important. But I think from the more uh, liberal and I don't feel particularly included because, I mean, I am saying me too because, you know, I was assaulted, but at the same time, I'm trying to give people a way to defend themselves and that seems to not be very popular it's almost kind of like when your sexual assault makes you come to certain realizations that don't line up with a certain narrative your story doesn't matter as much